Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the UK income tax for 2023 to 2024 in Excel. The UK income tax system follows a progressive system, meaning that those taxpayers that have a higher income will be in a higher tax band, whereas lower earning taxpayers will be in a lower one. Those earning more than £100,000 will have their allowance drop by £1 for every £2 that their income exceeds £100,000. In this video, we'll cover how to create an income tax calculator, which automatically returns your income tax payment based on the taxable income figure that you input. Before we start, I want to emphasize that I'm not a qualified accountant or advisor, and you should not use this video to substitute tax advice. Firstly, we need to calculate the difference between the taxable income and 100,000 in order to adhere to the rule I mentioned earlier. However, when the taxable income is say 43,000, which is below 100,000, the difference will be zero as the rule only applies when the taxable income exceeds 100,000. We can write an if statement to reflect this. If C6, in other words, the taxable income is greater than 100,000 pounds, then we want to find the difference, in other words, C6 minus 100,000, and if not, so if this figure is not greater than 100,000, then we want it to return zero. Therefore, when we change the taxable income to a figure above 100,000 pounds, we can see that the difference is calculated. Next, we want to calculate the deduction in the tax-free allowance if the income is indeed greater than 100,000. Since the allowance drops by £1 for every £2 that our income exceeds £100,000, we need to divide the difference by 2. However, we need to ensure that the deduction does not exceed the tax-free allowance of 12570 So if the difference divided by 2 is greater than 12570 then we return 12,570. However, if the condition does not hold, then we simply calculate the difference divided by two. This way, even if our taxable income is greater than 125,140, the deduction is capped at 12,570. Next, let's build this calculation table which we'll use later on to calculate our outputs. Firstly, let's input the tax thresholds. Next, we need to build this calculation table, which we'll use later on to calculate our outputs. Firstly, let's input the tax thresholds. However, instead of just typing these figures, we need to ensure that we subtract the deduction from the taxable incomes to account for any incomes above £100,000. The main difference compared to the previous tax year is that the upper threshold is now 125,140 instead of 150,000. In other words, a 45% tax rate is applied to anyone earning more than 125,140 now. Note that the personal allowance is not relevant to this upper threshold so we do not need to subtract anything here. Since our taxable income is 133,000, which is above 100,000, 
our calculation table has subtracted the deduction from the taxable income thresholds. If our taxable income is below 100,000, then the taxable income figures become the same as the original boundaries. Let me demonstrate this. Now, before we calculate the tax payable for each taxable income, let's input the tax rates which correspond to each tax threshold. So we have 0, 20, 40 and 45%. Finally, let's move on to the tax payable. The tax payable when our taxable income is 0 is of course 0. The amount payable when our income is 12,570 is also 0 as the 20% tax rate only applies when the taxable income is greater than 12,570. The tax payable when the taxable income is 50,270 is slightly trickier. First, we take the tax payable in the previous band. We then add this to the difference between 50,270, which is our taxable income, and 12,570, which is the previous boundary. We then close brackets and multiply this by the applicable tax rate, which is 20%. We can do the same for the cell below. Next, we can move on to our outputs. As a reminder, our tax payments is the amount payable in the previous tax band plus the rate of the current tax band multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. We can find each of these using the VLOOKUP function. To find the amount payable in the previous tax band, we type equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up the taxable income, which is £90,000. Within the table we just made, and we're looking to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the tax payable, so we type 2. And finally, we want it to be an approximate match, so we type 1. Since we've used an approximate match, Excel has retrieved the tax payable, which corresponds to the taxable income that is below our lookup value, which is 50270 and therefore it's retrieved 7,540. To find the rates of the current tax band, we once again use the VLOOKUP function. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column, which corresponds to the tax rate. To find the amount payable in the current tax band, we firstly take the taxable income and then use VLOOKUP to retrieve 50,270, which is found in the first column of our table. We are given 39,730, which is indeed 90,000 minus 50,270. Now that we have the intermediary calculations, we can calculate the annual tax payment. This is the amount payable in the previous tax band, plus the rate of the current tax band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. So for a taxable income of £90,000, our annual tax payment is £23,432. We can now check whether our calculation works for an income of £110,000, which is above £100,000. The amount payable in the previous tax band is £7,540, which is correct. The rate of the current tax band is 40%, as our income is between these two boundaries. Finally, the amount payable in the current tax band is 64,730, which is indeed 110,000 minus 45,270 after adjusting for the allowance rule. 
This gives us the following tax payments. So that's how you can calculate the UK income tax for the 2023 to 2024 tax year in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.